Right, now we can move on to the style section of building our component. I've brought over some basic styles that I start almost every code pin out with. So then we've got our colors that pass the contrast ratio. We have our focus style. Um, we have all of our base styles for our lists and our links. And we have this nice hover style. So it's really important that your links have a hover style to indicate that they are a link. There, you will need one other indication besides color. So here you can see that I've got an underline to indicate that it's a link. And then on hover, I have that like border bottom expand a little bit, and then I have a background show up. Now we can actually start working on our accordion, which is going to be really fun. I've brought over the classes that we have here. So just the plain old accordion, that's what's wrapping around everything. And then we have our button which is just all of our buttons that live inside of our definition term tag. Oh, there, yeah, our button, so class, accordion, button. And then we have an after element because we're going to want a little um, arrow that can show like if it's expanded or not. And then we have our accordion content, which is the definition details. So that's down here. And I've also added some of my ARIA attributes to my style sheet. So you can see like, here, I'll make this a little bit bigger. So you can see we're inside the button. Um, we're nested inside the button section. And we've got our already expanded true and then our already expanded true after. Those are gonna come in handy later on. And then we have our content and inside nested in the content section, we have our already hidden false and our already hidden true. So I personally like to add the already attributes to my style sheet instead of, for example, um, some people would say like active. and then they would toggle that active class. Um, I think that's pretty common. I've used that in um, projects where I need to use that instead of the um, just the RE attribute, but I like to have the RE attribute because then we are really making this component dependent on accessibility. Like for example, if someone's gonna come in here and remove these RE attributes, then our component won't be styled the way we want it to. And that will make um, myself, like future self and other developers kind of second guess why they would remove that RE attribute and think a little bit more about it. So let's start with our button. All right, so we've got, they kind of look like buttons now. Um, we still want to add like a hover state to them because I mean, this could really just be a block, but you can't really tell right now. So we'll add a hover state and we'll say background color this dark and we'll have to check the color contrast of that. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, that's a nice transition. Um, and remember we want something besides color to let us know that um, we're hovering over something. So let's see, maybe a transform would be nice. Scale 1.025. Oh. Nice, it's kind of janky. Um, so we can add a transition in there. 150 milliseconds, linear. Save that. That's a little bit better. So we've got a color change and then it grows a little bit. So then we know that we're hovering over it. And another thing we wanna do is add a little arrow indicator. So then we know that like once the, once the content is all collapsed, we'll know that like we can open it to show more content. I've seen that on a lot of um, accordions and I think it, it's a pretty common indicator. So we want, we want to like keep up with what's common and what people recognize.
Ah, beautiful. Boom. Boom. Yes. Love it. All right. And now we can add our RA expanded values. So we have RA expanded true here. So that's going to be when we have RA expanded true is what will indicate that the content is showing. And so we're also going to want, and we don't need an RA expanded false, I don't think, um, because we just want to indicate that the content is expanded. So then I guess when we want the content expanded for the after, we'll want to rotate that up at least. Um, what am I doing? I want this transform. So what would that be like? No, that's definitely, that's definitely not pointing up. <laughs> 315, there we go. Okay, cool, cool. And then, I guess we also, so we wanna have an indicator, like this is gonna be the, the purple's gonna be the default state, right? We want uh, some style indication that it's expanded. So we can say like when it's expanded, we want the background color to be our theme secondary, which is our dark gray. All right, and they're all they're all set to our expanded true right now, so that's why they have that styles or those styles. Blah. Um, cool. I think that looks good for now. We can always come back and edit it once we get the functionality going. All right, let's add some styles to our content content sections over here. So we'll want to give it some padding as well as a background color and a box shadow. I really like the box shadow because it kind of indicates like, okay, so now we know that this is the content that belongs to this accordion section because um, there's that little bit of the box shadow border right there. It does look like our unordered list is um, causing this margin over here. So let's remove that. That looks a lot better. And I think we'll also want some spacing between these accordion sections because they look a little squished. Um, we'll want some like spacing below each content section. So we can do that right here. Give them margin bottom of, let's say one. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now we can kind of tell at least that, okay, this content belongs to this accordion section. All right, so now we can get to the fun part of using um, our ARIA attributes in our style sheet. I know we used them up here a little bit for this arrow that indicates when it's like opened or closed, but I really like when we get to use our ARIA attributes to hide and show content um, instead of using that active class. So right now we have our ARIA hidden equals false attribute and our ARIA hidden equals true attribute. So this one will be, this ARIA hidden false will be when our content is not hidden. So how we have it as default right now. And then we have our ARIA hidden true, which will be when our content is hidden, when we toggle that value with JavaScript. So we wanna say, when the value is false, we wanna say display block, because it's not hidden, so we want it to show up. And then when the value is true, we want to say display none. All right, there we go. Um, nothing changed though, not super exciting, but now we have our component all set up with the styles we need for when JavaScript is implemented. Um, we do have it working without JS, which is pretty cool. So um, we know that users can see all of the content, all of these sections are expanded. And then once JavaScript is implemented, which we'll go over in the next section, these sections will, these accordion sections will collapse and we'll be able to toggle that ARIA hidden value um, to show and hide this content. All right, well, thank you for sticking around and I hope you watch the next video.